Howdy folks, Zane Williams here. Got a little tutorial video action for you today. Gonna teach you how to play my song 99 Bottles of Beer. This is a pretty simple one from a chord standpoint. It's just got three chords. G, A, and D. It does have A7. If that counts as a different chord. And I guess it does. So, um, anyway, I capo this on the 3rd fret, and then I play it in the key of G, the fingering of G, and so uh, 3 half steps up from G, that actually puts it in B flat. That's what my band plays it in, that's what it's in, I believe, on the CD. Uh, but basically, you can learn it in the key of G here, put your capo wherever you want that works best for you best for your voice that is so uh, anyway let me just play through it one time just the basic chord progression and uh, then we'll break it down a little bit but it goes uh, G A A7 D a little sloppy lick there and that's pretty much all you gotta learn if you know that you know the whole song so um, <clears throat> let me show you what I'm doing here in a little more detail. Uh, uh, I play the uh, the G chord that uses my my two little fingers on these bottom strings and then uh, two top fingers on these strings like that. And uh, the thing you got to learn for this song is is you got to be able to do the. You know, because I do that on all three of the chords. Then I do it on the A like this. And the D. It's that little hammer on that uh, gives it kind of that folky, lilting sound. So, let me show you what that is. Uh, basically, I'm just taking my uh, my forefinger there off, off of my G chord. And I'm putting it on the D string. And pressing that down to make that hammer on and when I do that I allow this middle finger to kind of kind of mute this string right here so so that string is not actually playing you got the G the in the bass then you got that string is being muted and then you got the D string and uh, and then I do that note uh, on the G string, uh, and that's kind of the little melody. Alright, so, but anyway, what I would do is I would just practice going, you know. And I allow my, uh, my <clears throat> picking hand to kind of rest on the strings a little bit. So they, they have a little bit of that muted sound and uh, just kind of sloppy it up a little bit. Uh, so, then we got the A chord, and the way I play it is just with this one finger, and I, I'm pressing down these uh, these three strings, and this, this bottom string, I'm just kind of muting. I'm not really fully pressing it down, and therefore it just kind of gets muted. And then sometimes I put my, uh, my thumb here to mute this top string. So that way, we're getting that kind of an A chord right there. And, um, and then what I use, I use my ring finger to, uh, to do the hammer on. Do that on the D string there. Okay, so once you can do that and same thing on the G, then you're most of the way there, okay? Now when I go to the A7, I go, I just go, I just, I'm hitting the A there, and I just do that same thing, one fret uh, down the neck, or up, whichever way, however you consider it. And then I go to the A7. So that just happens real quick. Okay? 
so. Then we go to the D, and we do the hammer on there with uh, with the pinky. Okay. Okay. And that last note is on the uh, B string there. And then we do a lick. And then you, you start that lick on an upstroke with your pick. You're, go, you're doing an upstroke there and, you, and then you slide your fingers. Start off with your fingers here. It's sort of like a C chord but you, you're just with these two fingers and just playing those two strings only. You slide them up one, two frets and then back down and then you pull off of this one play that note and then that's that's your G string that you end on so it's so it's slide up and then do that little pull off string or you can uh, do it with your uh, pointer finger okay that's it y'all um, those are the chords to the intro and the chorus and the verses are just a little bit different let's see on a day hot enough to make the devil cuss I walked into a bar so thirsty I don't do the A7 on the verses I just keep it on the A Barkeep asked me what'll it be I said G What you got? He said D Well let's see we got And then you repeat that chord progression No A7 D G D and then the chorus, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. I do do the A7 there. Beer, you take one down and pass it around, 98 bottles of beer on the wall. I do the lick too on the chorus, just like I do on the intro. So intro and chorus are the same, and the verse is the same chords with just a slight difference there. And... uh now you know the chords. Now all you have to do is learn the daggum words to that song. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. i got to keep this under 10 minutes or else YouTube won't let me post it. So I'm going to sign off. But let me know what other songs you'd like to learn. And we'll post them up there and get you guys hooked up. Thank you guys.